make baked feta and tomatoes, this makes a great dip. It's really unusual, I think. Anyway, I think it's a Greek dish, but don't hold me to that. I have a glass container. Um, I guess originally this is done in a clay pot with a top, but I didn't have a clay pot with a top, so I'm going to use a glass bowl with a top. And that's the way I've made it before. So in the bottom of this, I'm going to put some sliced onions. Now, how many? Depends. Just enough to make a, a kind of a layer on the bottom of whatever size pan you're using. I think this is going to be plenty. Okay. On top of that, peppers. Now you can use just regular green peppers if you want to, or you can use red peppers, whatever you happen to have. I'm using this medley, and I don't know if I'm going to use them all. Again, it's like another layer on top of that, top of the onions. And these you want to be fairly thin because it's, this is, ends up to be like a dip, and you're going to be scooping it with crackers or pita. We're going to use pita. And just the colors here make it look so pretty on a party table. Okay, we've got yellow, we've got red. Let's get an orange in there. And then I have these multicolored tomatoes also. That's really about it. I'm not going to do any more peppers. We'll put those aside. And then the tomatoes cut in half. This is really just a throw together kind of a dish, but I'm telling you, the flavors are amazing. A couple more. I think I'll cut that one in fourths. Again, because they're going to be on top of crackers or pita chips. Okay, a couple more. That's about enough. Save that for another one. And so there you've got this great colorful mix. Now I have a brick of uh, feta cheese. How big a brick? Doesn't matter really. Again, this is probably a little more than half a pound, maybe three quarters. And you just sit that on top of the vegetables and then what we're going to do is we're going to put some olive oil on top of about a tablespoon. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of oregano. And then I'm going to put some smoked paprika, not regular paprika, but smoked. Um, the original recipe used a Greek style paprika, but I wasn't able to get it for this taping, so I'm using something a little less so it's not as spicy. You can also in this is put some red pepper flakes if you want it to be spicy. And now I've got an oven at about 425 degrees, a very hot oven. This is going to go in for 20 to 25 minutes until the feta, until the uh, vegetables get soft and the feta just starts to melt a little bit. So, see you in about a half an hour.